I can take my mask off since we're not in person. I wanted to talk to you guys about the serious subject of the global pandemic. This virus is both terrifying and real, and real terrifying. People are confused in coming up with, let's just say, creative ideas to protect themselves from this terrible virus. Please lick and subscribe. It seems like even their feelings of general safety are kind of low. The consumerism is rather high, and people still have to make their way out to the stores to get the many, many, many products they need. A lot of people are confused as to what makes good PPE. I refer to these people as the plastic baggers, who assume a thin piece of plastic will keep them safe and clear out of harm's way. This last poor soul is obviously trying to keep absolutely covered and completely protected. But somehow, I feel as though the paper bag tends to fail as an effective barrier when it comes to transmission of this wretched, terrible virus. Others have turned to the protection of plastic bottles and large tubs. This methodology leaves me a little concerned for the low visibility it creates for the wearer. I'm worried he's gonna bump his head or give him an extra twenty dollars too much. Let's hope this poor lady can still catch the right time to get off the subway. Necessity is the mother of invention, and these last people had to get entirely too creative with their PPE. I mean, real creative, guys. Check it out. I know this virus has a lot of us feeling not so fresh these days, since the virus is airborne. Some choose to dive deep into their old swimming drawers and get their best deep sea equipment out for protection. Though unmasked, this gentleman is obviously applying proper social distancing etiquette. A lot of us have been feeling as though this world has been turned upside down, topsy turvy. We just have to hold tight, because even the businesses are getting affected. One industry that is suffering particularly badly is the beauty industry. People still need to go out and get their nails done and get a pedicure, maybe just to look good while they're hanging out at home. These nail technicians spare no expense and take the utmost precautionary measures. Others are doing drive-up and yard-side haircuts to keep away from the virus. The travel industry has also been hard hit and had to make do with limited resources but still remaining safe for both the driver and passenger. Now I know all this seems really depressing and a little bit overwhelming for most of us. I know I'm feeling kind of sad, so I thought I'd end on a good note. Some positive PPE. The people are making these days, it looks pretty good, and there's a lot of cool things coming out there that are both comfortable for the wearer and manage to keep them safe. And fashionable. This one is even for people to go out and party and even vape while they're inside their little hermit thing. I, for one, am still not quite ready to party. All this virus talk has me feeling a little bit paranoid, so I'm gonna mask back up for now. But seriously. Some things may be a little bit funny, but this pandemic is no joke. So keep you and your loved ones as safe as possible, and be safe and healthy.